60 degrees plus 60 degrees, which is equal to 120 degrees, which we found here. And then we are going to write our formula, which is BC is equals to Oh, is equals to theta over 360 times 2 pi r. This is our formula. Then we are going to substitute. See? We are going to substitute. Since here our, our pi is 3.142 and our r is 34, 37.1. So we write BC is equals to, we're going to get our 120 which we found and put it as our theta over 360 degrees times 2 times 3.142 times times 3 4 Three seven. Then here, when we punch in, what is it giving us? Seven one. Seven one. Nine nine. Nine nine. Point. Point. Three six nine. Three six nine. Three three three. Three, three, three. So now here we're going to going to make it in. Which is, which is going to be here. We'll give significant figures. So here we'll give our line in one. It will become here to become zero and here to become zero. It will become ten, so it will be zero, and you give the one here, it will become two. So it will be seven, two, zero, zero, <coughs> not commands. This is our answer. Then we go to number two. Which says, which says, a ship a ship sails from D to from C to D in four hours. Find its speed in nautical miles. So here we are going to write first have to find the distance for here so that we should find our speed. So it will be CD is equal to theta over 360 degrees times 2 pi r cos x. cos x. So here we're going to substitute. Why are you why are you why have you added cos x there? Because C D CD is the longitude. That's why we're using longitude, the, not latitude. The, lati <laughs> the latitude. Okay. Since this is our formula for finding latitude. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're adding cos x. So we're going to write 120. We we'll still get the 120 down from here. Over 360. We're going to get 60 degrees west and 60 degrees east. So it will be 60 degrees plus 60 degrees equals to 120 degrees. So I'm going to put it here. 120 degrees times 2 times 3.142 times 3, 3.4, 3.7. Cos 
37 cause Mm-hmm. Okay. 